so welcome back to the channel so sorry i look a little crazy today my mom and i we went volunteering with our church today to do mobile meals to seniors who have limited ability to get around so that's why i look a little hot however i'm really excited because this video is really about a small coupon deal that i was able to do at walgreens for really a little to no money and this right here has really made me excited to get back into not only couponing but also getting back into my stockpile because if you remember a couple videos ago i told you all that we were starting a stockpile and it's simply because first inflation is crazy right now i think the other day they said it was like 9.1 percent and it's projected to go up and in addition to that sometimes when you go into the stores you can't get what you want at that particular time so anytime it's a coupon deal anytime i see something that's for a good price i'm like okay let me go ahead and snag it up however we put that on pause for about two to three weeks recently because y'all our air conditioner it broke and we live in the south and it gets hot like if it says it's 85 degrees outside it's probably 95 degrees if it says it's 95 degrees outside it probably feels like it's 105 degrees outside because of the humidity so quick story time right quick before we jump into the video so back in april when we cut our air conditioner on we were like okay cool let's have the people who are contracted with our home builder to come out and look and make sure everything was okay he said everything was okay so we went ahead and cut everything on we noticed that there were some issues and when we noticed that there were some issues we called him back out so he fixed something we paid him for the services part of like the manual labor he said that because our air conditioner is still under warranty all the parts are still covered but as far as like the manual labor that's not covered anymore so we we're like okay cool so we paid a hundred dollars then we had to call him back out maybe like a week or two later so that's two hundred dollars at that point we called him out about a week or so later that's three hundred dollars and next thing you know um we had to call him out one more time and so that's four hundred dollars and at the very beginning when we called him out just to maintenance and make sure everything was okay we had to pay 175 dollars at that particular time too so we didn't pay those people about over 500 dollars and the issue still wasn't so we called out another company to come and look at it the first company they didn't really see anything he thought it might be the switchboard it might be some electrical issues the second company as soon as they came out they plugged everything in to do a diagnostic test and they saw right away what was happening so basically our air conditioner it was put in wrong and because it was put in wrong air could not flow between the upstairs and downstairs in a way where it wouldn't put too much pressure on the air conditioner outside so while one unit was trying to run in the inside the other one outside was having a lot of trouble trying to really keep up and it was causing a lot of issues and because it was causing a lot of issues and because it wasn't anything that we did first we tried to get in contact with the contractors who put the air conditioning unit in and after some thought we were like actually we don't really want to go through the warranty department or the contractors because they have come out five times already this year and we have paid them over 500 dollars and they're probably going to come back and just patch the issue again we will just go ahead with the company that has already found out what's going on and we just went forth and because it was just so hot at that time we just paid the money we paid a thousand dollars and we got an air conditioner fix knock on wood thank god for real because yeah, it was hot. Um, the warranty department and the contractors, they were like pulling us all around. We have been going through the BBB and all of that, trying to figure all that out. We still don't have a solution. <laughs> we're, we're still out of a thousand dollars, but we have air, which is the most important thing. So long story short, that's why we have not been couponing or really doing anything with our stockpile because we were out of a thousand dollars trying to get this fixed and as i said earlier we were giving out money left and right to the other people because they were just patching an issue instead of actually coming out and trying to fix it but let's go ahead and get into this haul because this haul right here has really made me get excited about couponing and starting the stockpile back up i mean it really never went anywhere but really putting a little bit more emphasis behind it so let's go ahead so right now walgreens has a really great deal where you can get four tie products for nine dollars and you can get either the tie simply the downy 
fabric softener. You can get the unstoppables or you can get the actual Tide Pods. For this particular deal, I decided to just get the Tide Simply as well as some fabric softener because I really like the liquid laundry detergent as well as the fabric softener. I do like the Tide Pods, but I didn't see any when I went into the store, so I just got what I saw. So for my first deal, I ended up just getting two of the Tide Simplys as well as two of the Downy Fabric Softeners and that came up to $9 before tax. And for the second deal, because I wanted to see if you could do it twice, which you can. Honestly, I asked the young man at the register how many times you could do it and he didn't say how many times you could do it. He said he wasn't sure. So I said, okay, let's try it twice. So for the second deal, I ended up just getting four of the Tide Simply. So my subtotal before tax was $18. We at $1.44 of sales tax, it came up to be $19.44 for all of this. And I think this is pretty good considering how much laundry detergent is. And for each product, I ended up paying about $2 and some change. So I really think that this was a great deal. And if you have a Walgreens in your area, I would definitely suggest you go ahead and try to get this deal while supplies last. All right, y'all, so that is it for this video. Definitely go to Walgreens if you have one in your area and get this great deal. They have some other really great deals that I do plan to try, but this morning I didn't have a lot of time because as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I had to go and volunteer for Meals on Wheels. So hopefully I can get back to Walgreens sometimes this week so that I can do some of those other deals that I've been seeing other couponers do so I can add to my stockpile and just have some things ready available around the house so I don't have to run out to the store every time we use something up. So make sure you go ahead and like, share, and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.